I know I've been using the phrase, the final countdown rather loosely, but this truly is it. It's 6.03 right now, so tomorrow at this time, they'll be one minute away from the soft landing of Vikram on the lunar surface. Remember that it will start in less than 24 hours from now at 5.20 p.m. is when officially the soft landing will begin. It's going to be about a 44-minute process because from the closest orbit that Vikram is currently in, that Chandrayaan-3 currently is in, it will then start inching closer and closer to the south pole of the moon. At this point, Isro says all conditions are in favor, everything is ready. The green signal has been given and it repeated updates shared by our Isro scientists they say there's nothing to be worried about. Everything looks good. Everything is running as per schedule. And that at this point definitely looks like 6 or 4 p.m. is when we can expect that big, big breaking news, which we'll tell you here on India Today. As I'll be inside the very complex that I'm standing outside of today. Uh, we will be getting you live updates of what's happening, the mood in the mission control complex, the mood among our ISRO heroes. Let me take this across to our reporter, Sakai Raj, is joining me live from Bengaluru, Milind Sharma from Ahmedabad. I also have Abhishek Anand getting us the latest from the national capital. Sagai, to you first. Round up for us the updates that have come in really from ISRO today. Absolutely. The entire ISRO is excited and they are quite confident that this time it will be a successful landing for lander Vikram. Remember, uh, there are a lot of updates which has been done. The software has been announced. The hardware has been announced. There were uh, the several, uh, Ricky, I mean to say, the trial which was being done in the ISRO's lab to find out that land at this time and it lands safely, it is not going to crash. And uh, after a successful uh, uh, trial, now the, they are quite confident that uh, this time, it will land without any kind of hassle. Remember, last time there was uh, there was uh, uh, no special camera on the lander. This time you have a camera. The camera will capture the moon surface. It will find out whether there is any kind of craters or blotters on uh, the surface, and it will uh, try to uh, land at a place where there is no hassle. There is no problem for the lander and even the radius of uh, the landing of the lander has been increased last time it was close to half a kilometer this time they have a liberty to land in a radius of four kilometers and thanks to the software announcement which has been done in this uh, particular uh, lander and also uh, the velocity meter which has been used the advanced one which is also helping them to reduce uh, uh, the speed the velocity when it's uh, coming towards the moon which will also control the uh, speed of it according to the gravitational force of the moon so as of now the scientists are quite confident that they have learned from their mm -hmm. past mistakes and this time it should be a successful one You know, there's an interesting aspect to this, and this is a news break that we got in earlier today, which has sent quite a ripple on social media. Everyone's talking about it, which is the plan B of ISRO. Bilin Sharma got us that news break after her conversation with the ISRO team based in Ahmedabad. Uh, Milan, there's a lot of talk about this plan B. Will ISRO go ahead with that soft landing tomorrow? Is it going to be pushed to Sunday? Can you just kind of clear the air on that? I think we need to put it in perspective for our viewers that this is just a contingent. This is a plan B. Definitely, Akshita. In fact, I'm so proud to, you know, be bringing to you this report from just outside of ISRO Ahmedabad, wherein uh, my colleague Sagai and you as well have been talking about the kind of technology upgrades that have been done for Vikram Lander. India wants to be ready with a plan B. This doesn't mean that they are definitely going to delay the launch. It just means that everything needs to fall in place for India to land at that crucial time, as you and I are reporting now, just uh, at uh, 6 or 4 p.m. tomorrow at this particular time. And uh, for that, every situation needs to fall in place, whether it's the velocity, the speed reduction, the thrust, the propulsions, uh, the kind of, uh, you know, systemic... Uh, uh, you know, environment around uh, the lander, everything needs to be on point and that would perhaps become the perfect soft landing. And of course, uh, 
prayers and uh, you know uh, jubilation within the Indian citizens as well for this. But the scientists are not leaving any stone unturned to be prepared because, and that is why the Plan B has been programmed into the Vikram lander. It will only be a delay of four more days, which is going to be 27th of August, because India has to try. India has been trying, whether it's Chandrayaan 2, the orbiter mission. Of course, the landing couldn't happen, but Chandrayaan 3, 21 subset, uh, which means equipments have been changed within this particular lander, which will help. And uh, if we talk about the cameras, the ulterior sensors, they've all been tried and tested at the ISRO Space Application Center in Ahmedabad in Gujarat. And that's a proud moment as well. And that's why the plan B, because, of course, when the plan A doesn't work, there has to be a plan B. And uh, all, uh, you know, fingers crossed for the plan A to work which is the 23rd of August when the lander will be 30 kilometers from the moon's surface. India could become, uh, I would say, fingers crossed once again, the first country to land on the southern they polar will come region in Because at this point, it's just maintaining everything is going as per plan. Milan, thank you for getting us that update. My apologies for interrupting, but I just have to quickly bring in Abhishek Anand as well before we move on to our next report. Abhishek, the government also very closely tracking what's happening. You know, I've been very, very uh, amused to see all of uh, the reactions coming in from the Aam Admi. Really, you've got prayers, you've got people rushing to religious sites to offer prayers. Many of them, uh, you know, putting out well wishes and wishes for eyes for scientists. Well, Akshita, uh, in Nehru Planetarium, Planetarium in Delhi, this is the situation right now. You can see there are multiple screens. You can see this is the one TV screen here. There are multiple screens and a live telecast will be shown here. The landing burn countdown is here. The touchdown countdown is here. The mission clock and most importantly, this is how the Chandrayaan has reached the moon's orbit. This is, these are the details which are being shown to the general public. Tomorrow there will be a huge crowd. So special preparations are here to handle such a huge crowd. Uh, as you can see how detailed these informations are for general public because of the enthusiasm, because of the proud factor of India being able to do it. This is the orbit of the moon and if I request my camera person to focus here, these are the details. These are the details of the Chandrayaan. The Chandrayaan is here on the Apollyon, which is 134 kilometers. This is the orbit's farthest area when a spacecraft is actually orbiting the moon and this is the Perilune just only 25 kilometers you know, I was the at a, I was at a similar planetarium uh, here in this, Bengaluru this as point. well yeah. and you can see that all of them are taking steps to ensure that people particularly students youngsters can visit these planetariums to get all the details and like I said earlier as well in my broadcast youngsters today are talking about landers and rovers courtesy our ISRO scientists thanks very much Abhishek thanks Sagai and to Milan for getting us all of those details